Here's the first of the kinesthetic learning exercises today. We'll be drawing in the muscles related to the pectoral region of the shoulder. First one we'll draw in is pectoralis major. So this is the principal chest muscle that's um, the focus of bench press exercises. It has a very broad origin point. Comes off of the majority of the sternum. But it also has an origin point off of the medial two-thirds of the clavicle as well. From there, the fibers will converge and attach to a spot on the humerus, actually just lateral to the bicipital groove. So the bicipital groove here, this would be the lateral ridge of the bicipital groove where the pectoralis major attaches. Incidentally, this is the medial ridge here, and we saw in the first lecture, although from the posterior aspect, this is the insertion point for latissimus dorsi. So you can see how very close together these two muscles attach to one another. So again, the focus is on pectoralis major off of the lateral ridge of the bicipital groove. From there, we can connect these lines together. Principal function of this muscle, based on the line of pull, is adduction, horizontal flexion, and slight internal rotation at the level of the shoulder. Second muscle, if we have a pectoralis major, then it stands to reason that we have a pectoralis minor. This one typically originates off of ribs three through five, and is going to insert on the coracoid process. Uh, not nearly as distinct a function as what we see with its big brother. Typically, can either be thought of as elevating the ribs during forced inspiration, or it can also assist in fixation of the scapula in place. One final muscle to talk about in relation to these uh, uh, anterior pectoral region not often talked about, but it's subclavius is a small little muscle that originates off of the first rib fairly medially and then inserts on the underside of the clavicle. And so as you can possibly tell by this line of pull, it's going to help with clavicular depression, particularly when we see depression of the scapula then this is going to be a synergistic depression of the clavicle as well. It also helps to stabilize the sternoclavicular joint that we've already talked about in place. Um, basically acts as a, an additional uh, ligament when contracted.